All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan battle video. So, we have got some info here to break down uh, covering the Dragon Ball Hero stuff. Now, obviously, the main thing to come out of last night is this image, right? Uh, so, what happened last night was um, this image was on the uh, 10th anniversary Dragon Ball Heroes uh, website, right? And they kind of, like, like released it, they opened it up, and then this image was in there, people were able to find it, and, oh, look, you know, this is what's coming to Dokkan. A lot of people were skepti skeptical that this was real at first, but indeed it is actually real. Uh, all these characters are going to be coming to Dokkan soon. Now, a lot of the previous Heroes units, um, their release date has been, like, November, uh, like, 16th and stuff like that. Like, here, let's just go ahead and go over here and quickly pull this up. Uh, let me just pull up one of these characters. Oh, actually, wait, I've got this right here. Yeah, yeah. All right, so let me just pull up, like, one of these characters right here. Here, Black Mask Saiyan. Um, typically, they're releasing right there around November 21st. Now, one extra layer to this is that then in the actual Heroes live stream itself, uh, one of the producers for Dokkan came out and sort of went over some details. Vegito, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, has a Dokkan event. Um, and then Gresh clarifies they, they didn't specifically say he's an exclusive, so we'll have to see. Um, so, that obviously makes sense, right? <laughs> like, uh, to me, I think all four of these characters are Dokkan Festival, like, exclusive event worthy and stuff like that. Um, now, there's a couple things about this, right? Number one, the fact that this Super Saiyan 4 Vegito is getting a, a Dokkan event, no matter what, is already a massive W. Like, already we've won. Because if they're going to make a Heroes Dokkan event, then obviously they're not going to mind doing, like, I think Dokkan Fest exclusives, LRs, and things of that nature, right? So already, the number one thing I think we wanted out of this Heroes stuff is is that. Like, if we knew that they were going to do LRs and Dokkan Fest exclusives, because that just opens up so much. And a lot of these smaller, shittier categories, like Giant and stuff like that, can actually be very competitive now if they're going to bring in Great Ape Gogeta and Majin Super Saiyan 3 Great Ape Broly, right? Like, characters like that. You know, the Giant team, we, we actually could get a lot of characters. We could run a team, you know, Cell X, characters like that, right? Fusion will get better because there'll be more, like, you know, Kaioken, Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta, Xeno, Gogeta, all these different things, right? You know, Super Saiyan 3, that category can actually function correctly once we get more Super Saiyan 3s added in there. You know, Super Saiyan 3, Future Gohan, and stuff like that, right? So that's all going to be good. Um, now, Vegito himself, obviously, among all these characters right here, I mean, who is going to be... <laughs> he's definitely the most deserving, I would say of a Dokkan event, but we don't know for sure if he's actually an exclusive, because if he's a Dokkan Fest exclusive, I imagine there's probably, I mean, two things that would happen, is there probably would be a banner potentially with, like, all, all these Heroes units, maybe except for Vegito, and then maybe Broly, and then those two would then be on, um, like, a Dokkan Fest exclusive banner, like, there'd be two banners, but I, I don't know if that's what they're gonna do, because the other thing, too, is... If, like, they're going to do, like, a Dokkan event and stuff like that, I, I don't imagine it's going to be, like, Vegito and Broly. Who, they're the two units that, I, I guess, were confirmed to awaken from the units they showed, right? And, you know, here we have the Super Saiyan 4 Vegito Dokkan event will be held. There's going to be another event, I guess, that, you know, that there's other characters we'll be able to get, so we'll see. But if there's a Dokkan event for Vegito, and then, again, presumably Broly is going to awaken uh, from the same Dokkan event... I don't, those are not going to be exclusive characters, I don't think. Like, I imagine these are going to become general banner pool SSRs. Now, we'll see, right? So, basically, is Vegito going to end up going the way of what Mass Saiyan and uh, Tapion slash Harutagarn were in 2017? Where these are units who were put into the general banner pool uh, and they have Dokkan events, official Dokkan events, right? This Mass Saiyan one as well as this Harutagarn Dokkan event. They weren't actually made Dokkan Fest exclusive characters, but they did actually get a Dokkan uh, event, you know, added into the game. Which I, th I think is really good. Like, I, I, I wouldn't mind seeing this, but obviously we would prefer, right, if Vegito was just a Dokkan Fest exclusive. Because he's just going to be far better if he is, right? And obviously, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, they would want to make ridiculous, right? 
Um, now, Mass Sand just got his EZA. I, I mean, he is quite good after his EZA, right? Definitely got a, a very big improvement. Uh, this Tapion is still solid, but, man, I, I, this is actually another... I would love to see Tapion get an EZA. Because, um, again, that could really help. Yeah, he's on quite a few teams. Time Traveler, Giant, Movie Bosses. Right, right, right. Movie... I love it. Movie Bosses and Movie Heroes. I love that. That's good. That's good. But, you know, there's there's a lot of things uh, we could do with this Tapion. Yeah, he, he is immense as well, huh? Okay, not bad. Um, But, like, if he had... You know, he's already got 50% damage reduction. You give him, like, some really good defense. Like, if he just, after EZA, would get, like, 150% defense at the start of turn, that would be crazy. He would be very interesting. Ooh, he has a 150% 12 key multiplier as well. Not Yeah, this Tapion, this Tapion, man, he could be very interesting with an EZA. But, basically, what we don't know as of right now is, is... Super Saiyan 4 Vegito going to be a Dokkan Fest exclusive character, like the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta we just got? Or is he going to be, like, Mass Saiyan and stuff like that? We'll find out soon. But, again, with this Vegito Dokkan event, I think there is a very high chance that we are going to see the Heroes cards become general banner pool SSRs. I think the entire lot of them are probably just going to be added into the normal pool. Um, we'll see, though, right? And, like, we know there's going to be another event to potentially awaken characters. Um, don't forget that there is also 600 characters in here that they still could awaken right like black mass saiyan still could get a dokkan awakening dark mass king this demigra really i would like to see this demigra get one because they they sort of did this thing where they released those xenoverse awakenings the demigra mira and toa but they're like meant to be used on like a full villain team well i mean this this demigra is very solid you give him a Dokkan Awakening, give him defense at the start of turn, you know, he has to all and like, look, look how good, like, the baseline of him is right there. Like, if he just gets 130% attack and defense instead of what he's got, and then all extreme class allies, three key, and maybe 30% defense, and all enemies attack and defense minus 20%, like, he's very good. That's really good for time travelers, revived warriors, realm of gods, like, a, like, an evil version of realm of gods, and then Dragon Ball Heroes, like, that would be so good. So this guy, uh, among a lot of these units, I really want this Demigo to get a, a Dokkan Awakening. Um, then, of course, yeah, there's the Gohonks uh, right there. We have this uh, Xeno Gotenks right there, because this was just a free-to-play unit they gave out a while ago. I mean, we'll see if they'll ever bring him back. Uh, Super Mira needs an Awakening as well. Um, I think, is that it? Uh, and then just the uh, Vegex, and then also the Xeno, Vegeta, and Goku. I have seen even more people ask today for Xeno Goku and Xeno Vegeta um, to potentially get uh, Dokkan Awakenings into Super Saiyan 4. I mean, maybe that could happen as well. Uh, we'll see. I personally would want them to just Dokkan Awaken into still like Xeno Goku and Xeno Vegeta. Because especially like, you know, if they're dropping Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta with a Dokkan event, like we could definitely now see Xeno Goku and Vegeta get Dokkan events. Or, you know, there's also the Limit Breaker forms of these characters, right? Like, you know, with that, like almost like the, the God Key type aura. Like to, that Super Saiyan 4 Vegito is like, you know, the big sexy, like, you know, kind of like, well, one of them. I, I believe there's a, a full pop, like a, a Limit Broken full power Broly, and there's a, the Limit Broken full power. Uh, Vegito and then Demon King Fu, like, are a lot of the big-time units, right? So, I mean, we'll see. Um, now, again, there's also these uh, events, right? I don't think they're going to do anything with this world mission event. I mean, they'll definitely, like, bring it back, right? But I don't think, like, there's going to be anything new added to this or anything like that. Like, it's just going to sit there and it'll awaken the characters it awakens. But this one right here, this Prison Planet Saga event... I feel like they're just going to add new stages to this. Because remember, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito is from the pr the Prison Planet arc, right? Like, I, I imagine, like, even in his Super Attack animations, you could see the Prison Planet in the background behind Vegito, right? So, I, I think we're probably going to see this stage get new stages added to it. Um, oh, the other really good thing, too, about at least Vegito awakening from the Dokkan event, and probably Broly as well, is they are going to get Fierce Battle, right? Now, for the actual Dragon Ball Heroes team, that's not going to be the best, because if we pull up the Dragon Ball Heroes category... Here, let me just pull this up, because the, the category is, is very easy to just sort of, like, see all the characters. Um, all these guys on here are all Shattering the Limit, right? So that would hurt, like, Vegito um, on this team, but for the other big-time teams, he'd be on Patara, Grade 8 Power, right? Him having Fierce Battle, Time Travelers as well. Oh, shit, yeah. Dude, Time Travelers? 
what is Vegito's leader skill going to be? He's got to be a time traveler. They, they need to give us um, a super class time traveler leader and a extreme class time traveler leader. So actually, it'd be cool if like Broly would be time traveler and then Vegito would be time traveler. Both of them. That would be good. So then you could build your full hero variant time traveler team and your full villain variant time traveler team. I mean, you already still could run just the Int Goku Black, but he's just not really that good, right? Um, and then, of course, Time Travelers, I guess, really is sort of the actual de facto uh, Heroes category, right? Because Time Travelers has got things like Mass Saiyan on it, you know, Super Saiyan 3, Bardock, right? And then, again, you've got the Xenoverse units, like you have that Toa right there. We have Mira down here. Uh, Super Mira, by the way, definitely a character we would want to see get a Dokkan Awakening as well. Because uh, Super Mira would work really well with regular Mira, right? These two would be nice. This guy also greatly stacks. Obviously, those types of units are good. So, uh, this celebration could be very massive, right? Now, I, I, I mean, it, it's just, what are they going to do with the banner? And what is the Dokkan now going to be tomorrow as well for Global? Is Global getting all this at the same time? I'd say there's a very good chance. I mean, I'm, I'm cool. Like, sure, let's do it. That would be sick. All this stuff just drops on Global and JP at the same time. Like, yes, please. I, I'm totally fine with that. Um, I feel like uh, a Global first LR is another big possibility. People are driving me crazy because they're saying like, oh, LR Kid Buu. Like, no, there's no LR Kid Buu coming. Smack you. Stop it. Um, and I don't think they're going to do a tournament of power global first this time. Only because the anniversary for JP is literally like barely two months away, right? Like we're going to get a Dokkan Fest. Maybe it's Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. We'll see. At the end of November. Um, then we're going to get the New Year's Dual Dokkan Fest. And then after that, it's anniversary at the end of January. So like, I, I don't think they're going to drop like, LR God Topo Global First or LR Tournament of Power Ultimate Gohan Global First. I think whatever the Global First is, I don't think it'll be Tournament of Power related because I don't think they're going to have the Tournament of Power like anniversary theme and then they're not going to have like that big time unit on JP for the anniversary. I just, I just don't think that's going to happen. So whatever the Dokkan now is, I don't think it's going to be Tournament of Power. I don't think it's going to be LR Kid Buu. I do think this hero stuff could really make sense. Um... Because they could drop, like, you know, the, all this stuff right now, Global and JP at the same time. All the units get added to the general banner pool. You know, Vegito could be an exclusive, which would be awesome. And then, you you know, Global could still have several weeks until they move into uh, Blue Goku and Blue Vegeta. And then onto LR Full Power Jiren and stuff like that. Because um, I, I would say, like, with certainty, we could expect to see Blue Goku and Vegeta within this three-week time period. Between December 6th to, like, the 20th. Blue Goku and Vegeta are going to release on Global. And then on Christmas Day is going to be the Tanabata banner, which is Blue Goku and Vegeta, um, LR Gohan and Goten, and both of the LR Blue Fusions all on the same banner on Christmas Day. So that's like, you know, definitely. That would make sense, right? If this Heroes banner gets dropped, let's just say this Heroes banner comes out on like the 25th of November on both Global and JP, right? That would make sense because, you know, Global got Gotenks and Buu, what, like the 6th? So this could drop. And then that would be plenty of time until maybe like December 10th or something like that, or a little bit later when Blue, Goku, and Vegeta could drop. So the timing would make a lot of sense. You know, again, there potentially could be two banners here. We could see like, you know, five, six units Dokkan Awaken. Like I would imagine, you know, again, we have these, what, six right here. There could potentially be another 10 units coming because there's a teaser for free-to-play units. We got the Dokkan event. There's all these old characters that could get Dokkan Awakenings as well. So this is going to be super hype. And this is going to be a lot of buffs to a lot of categories that really could help it, right? And again, like, you know, Deborah and Toa right here are going to be evil versions for Sibling Bond. Which, you know, again, like, Toa is on Sibling Bond, but it's just a full hero team, basically. So that's going to help out. You know, we have Super Saiyan 4 Gohan, Super Saiyan 4 Bardock. This is going to be awesome. So let me know what you guys think. Um, but no matter what... I would say exactly what we wanted, we at least got. Just Vegito, even if Vegito is not an exclusive and he's just like Mass Saiyan or Tapion, him getting a Dokkan event, that's just the precursor to eventual Heroes, LRs, and Dokkan Fest exclusives, I would think, anyway, right? Like, once we get that Vegito Dokkan event, as soon as that's confirmed, like, there we go. So now the Heroes floodgates are open. The infinite possibilities of heroes are now realistic for Dokkan. This is good because, again, all these smaller categories, which are shitty, can now be vastly improved with these heroes' characters. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, uh, and I'll catch you all next time. Again, we'll see. Who knows when this stuff is going to come. 
Uh, we'll see Dokkan now again is tomorrow. We'll see if that's going to introduce the hero stuff as well. Uh, very well could, but uh, you know we'll find out a lot more very soon.